Hey guys, I have something very special to share with you. This is the most requested art supply I'm asked to review and I am so excited to finally bring it to you. But before we get started swatching these colors, let me tell you a little bit about this product. Holbein has been producing high quality art supplies for over 120 years. This is a professional, highly pigmented, oil-based colored pencil that has a medium hard, 3.8 millimeter core and it's light fast. Okay, so let's take a moment and talk about light fastness because there appears to be some confusion over misinformation about the Holbein light fastness. So, I contacted Holbein and I spoke to the person in charge of the company and he explained to me exactly how they test for light fastness. They use the most up-to-date technology with the most advanced color machine worldwide and this assists in the establishment and the light fast rating. And the reason that they do this is because it is more accurate than the blue wool scale because the blue wool relies on visual analysis. Also, Holbein tests their colored pencil line to the ASTM D6901 light fast standard. The ASTM is the American standard for industrial materials and testing methods. Okay guys, so after I spoke to this gentleman, I am completely confident that this is a high quality, professional colored pencil that is light fast exactly how they say it is. Okay, so one final note is that this colored pencil is manufactured with 100% PEFC, that is Forest Protected Certified Wood, and who doesn't love that? Okay, and I also have this to show you guys. This is Melts. This is also by Holbein, and what this is is their colored pencil blender. This is water-based and non-toxic, and I know this is going to make a lot of people happy because you can blend your colored pencils without having to use mineral spirits. Okay, so we're going to test this out in a minute after we swatch these colors. Okay, let's swatch some colors. I have three sets of 12, the basic set, the design set, and the pastel set. And I'm going to swatch each of these sets separately. Okay, so let's open these up and check out these pencils. Okay, so on each corner at the top it says push and you just squeeze that and it opens. Okay, so this is the basic set. Oh my gosh, these pencils are beautiful. Let me pull one out. Okay, you have the color name, the color number, the light fastness rating right on every pencil. This is a beautiful pencil. The end of the pencil is covered. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm so excited. Okay, let's go ahead and open all of them up. This is what the basic set looks like, the set of 12. I'm gonna squeeze the corners again and it just pops right open. This is the design set. So you have the basic and the design. And then this is the pastel. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful that is. I don't know if I can fit all this on camera. That's yummy. Ooh, ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, so let's go ahead and start swatching first the basic set. And I'm going to swatch on 67 pound Bristol Vellum. And we'll start with this yellow. Okay, the yellow is called Canary Yellow. And let's see how this pencil feels. This is my first experience using this pencil, so I'm going to describe it the best I can for you guys. Oh, okay, it's very, um, I'm going to lay down a lot of color so we can um, get a good idea for this palette. Oh, wow, okay, it's very, very creamy, but it does not 
feel waxy at all. This is very, very unique. I've never, I've never experienced a color pencil that feels like this. This is beautiful. Okay, the color lay down is very easy. It's without any effort. I'm not pushing on the pencil at all, and it just lays down beautiful, highly pigmented color. Oh wow, that's so, okay, so I built up a lot of color there, guys. And without any effort at all, I'm not pushing. Okay, I'm gonna pick this up and move it in the light because that's a lot of color I laid down. Okay, there's zero wax bloom. It's not shiny at all. And I have a lot of color on there. Oh, this is so, I'm gonna make this swatch a little bit larger because I have room for 12 on here. Oh, this is lovely. I love the way this feels. Okay, the next color is, let's see, this is just orange. Okay. Again, it's very easy to build this color without any effort at all. And I'm going to really build this up so you can see the intensity that you can get with this pencil. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, again, I'm going to pick this up and move it in the light. And I laid down a lot of color, guys. No wax bloom. Of course, this is a wax based, I mean, excuse me, an oil based colored pencil. So you wouldn't expect a wax bloom from it. But I always like to show you guys just to check for that. And it's just lovely. Okay, next color. This is Carmine. I'm gonna bit, look how beautiful that is. That's just one layer. Okay, so let's really build this up so we can get the, a good idea for the intensity of this color. And guys, I know I do these really big swatches, but there's a reason why I do that, because on camera, it's easier for you to, for you guys to get a, a really good idea of the color. Because if I were to do this little tiny itsy bitsy swatch, um, it just it just wouldn't it wouldn't work. Okay, so that is beautiful. Oh gosh, look my um. <laughs> my swatches aren't very even. It's okay. The next color is violet. Beautiful. Look how intense these colors are. Again, very easy to build the color. So you can uh, layer these super easy without any effort. Okay, next color. Guys, this is a beautiful pencil. Let me just say that one more time. This is gorgeous. Okay, the color is cobalt blue, so that's our next color. Oh, did you guys hear that? That's my dog. He's elderly. He's a late bloomer. He just learned how to talk, but I'm still proud. If you listen, he might say something else. 
Okay, so that was cobalt blue, and our next color is aqua. Okay, these pencils look like jewelry to me. They look like little jewels in a jewel box. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, next is green, my favorite color, and this is holly green. Okay, <laughs> guys, my swatches aren't very even. It's okay, it's okay. Beautiful, oh, so pretty. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous green. Oh, I love it. Okay, the next color is apple green. And I'm gonna try to make them the same size. That's intense, look at that. These are bright, vibrant, intense color. Okay, the next color is Burnt Sienna. I love the color palette in this basic set. This is, this is a really, really good um, set of colors. I love that they've included, we have a Burnt Sienna, and guys, there's a Burnt Umber in here. Love that. feels. It's so creamy and smooth, but you don't feel like, I don't feel like, um, even though I keep layering and layering and layering all these, um, this color down, it, you never feel like it's, it's getting heavy. You never feel like, oh, I, I've reached a point where I can't put any more down. It's just really nice. Okay, so this is Burnt Umber. I love Burnt Umber. Oh, I just love Burnt Umber. And you know what goes great with Burnt Umber? green, my favorite color. Okay, the next color is black. Let's see how dark we can get this. Guys, I just bought a lot of new adult coloring books and I'm thrilled and I can't wait to use these pencils in some of my new books. So you don't have to be a professional artist creating work to sell to use these pencils. You can use these in your coloring books because that's what I do. Alright guys, the next color is white. Now. If I swatch this, you guys won't be able to see it, so you know what I'm going to do. Um, you use your white pencil to go over other colors, to highlight, to you can blend with them. But I'm just going to go over the black so you guys get an idea. See how I've lightened that? Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Now... I'm going to put this, wait, one, two, three, four, five, oh, I see. I, it's the white. I was confusing myself. Okay, so the empty space here is because it's the white. All right, so I'm going to put this aside, and let's swatch the design tone set now. Okay. Oh, look how beautiful. Okay, so this is the designer set, and the first color is lemon. Look at all that pigment. Oh my gosh. 
beautiful. Okay, the next color, okay, let me just, <laughs> there we go. The next color is dandelion. Look how beautiful that is. Okay, now, this is a little bit warmer. Oh, this is a good color. Beautiful. Okay, our next color is tangerine. Beautiful. All right, um, then we have Signal Red. Okay, this, this pencil is gorgeous. I keep saying that, but it's so true. <laughs> okay. Beautiful red. Okay. Our next color is magenta. Okay, so the color of the pencil barrel matches the color of the um, of the pencil. <laughs> so that's good. All right. The next color is iris. See, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this is the last color on this row I'm gonna do. And yes, I am building up a lot of color, but that is so you guys get a really good idea of the color palette. I know I said that already, but sometimes you guys like to um, jump around in my videos, so I'm saying it again. Okay, the next color is Royal Blue. Okay, so I want to just uh, make a note that if you're coloring, let me get another piece of paper. If you're coloring um, like this, lightly, you will not get crumble coming off of your colored pencil. But if you are doing what I am doing, I am laying down heavy amounts of color over and over and over again. Um, sometimes you will get a little bit of crumble, but that is just the way I'm coloring. Um, not it does not reflect negatively on the pencil because all pencils will do that especially if you're doing what I'm doing um, so you don't have to color like this you can if you want I'm not going to judge you but um, but anyway usually what you would do is like this and then build the color up so the next color is turquoise blue This is so pretty. This is a really beautiful turquoise color. Oh my gosh. You know, I just painted my bathroom, oh, six months ago, no, almost a year maybe. And it's, it's the, a color that's actually, it's a blue, but it leans towards a turquoise. It, it is just the most gorgeous blue. And then I painted my ceiling a lighter shade of blue, and then the crown molding is white. Oh my gosh, Oh, it's just absolutely fabulous. But I don't know why I'm telling you that. Um, anyway, the dog is talking again. 
but I'm gonna he'll he'll be fine we're just gonna let him be okay the next color is Viridian beautiful 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 all right and then we have fresh green oh this is a bright green and this is actually my mother's favorite color oh my gosh there it goes do you guys hear that let's just ignore that that's the air conditioner doing its thing but it'll go off in a second okay then we have another black which is really good which is really good. I'm glad I have two blacks now. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch it even though we know what it looks like. We're gonna do it again. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, and let me pull this out here. And then again, you're going to get a white. So, how did I do that? I did that somehow. Okay, so I'm again, I'm gonna go over the, uh, the black. And so you can see by going over it, you lighten that, you add highlights to, you can do that to any color. Let's do it to the blue, okay? So you can lighten it. All right, okay, now let's move to the pastel set. Okay, well, let's open it. Let's a little squeeze our corners. Oh, this is so pretty. This is like candy. It just looks like candy. All right, so let's go to... I'm going to push this way. Yeah, okay. The first color is cream. I'm going to make a nice big swatch. These are lighter colors, so I'm, I, I, you know, I think you guys are going to be able to see the color better if I do a big swatch. Like I haven't already been doing big swatches, but you know. Okay, so there's cream, and this is like, this is like butter. That looks like beautiful butter. Okay, Naples Yellow. Oh good, I love Naples Yellow. Guys, I was in my studio the other day and I was mixing colors. I love mixing colors. And just about every recipe I was using called for Naples Yellow. I think I went through all my Naples Yellow. I need to make another order. But anyway, I was having fun. Okay, so the next color is pink. Oh, I love this pink. Oh, this is a good pink. This, this is the pink you would want um, for like a, a sweet blush on, on a cheek or um, a little bit of highlight on your lip. This is a beautiful, beautiful pink. Oh my gosh, I love this pink. That's a good pink. Okay, the next color is called Rose Pink. This is another good pink. This is a little bit, um, this is a little bit warmer. This is another good blush color. Oh my gosh. Oh, those are good. This one, next to this one, looks almost more salmon-y. And uh, that one looks a little bit more of a warm pink. Okay, next color is salmon pink. Oh, beautiful. Okay, can I just say, I, my expectations for the pastel set, th this, this exceeded all my ex expectations is what I'm trying to say. These are so incredibly beautiful. Okay, and the next pastel is Mauve. Now this is a little bit brighter. It has a little bit more punch to it. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. These are 
gorgeous. Now, I heard that everybody is going bonkers. I don't know if that's the technical term, but they're really excited about the pastel set, and I can see why. This is just outstanding. Okay, the next color is called Wisteria. Fabulous. Okay, I hope you guys are really getting a sense for this color. I'm building it up as best I can. Now, I, I'm not using a lot of effort, but I'm just trying to lay down enough color so you guys can really see this. These colors are incredibly beautiful. Okay, the next color is lavender blue. I'm just thinking how much fun it would be to pick these all the colors because they do they have a um, hundred and fifty colors to choose from guys you can buy their colors open stock you don't have to buy them in sets they do sell these pen pencils individually so you can go and look through all 150 colors and choose just a couple you know you can just pick up one pencil just pick up one pencil and and see if you even like it and then invest in a set that's what's fabulous about open stock but um you know i wouldn't it be fun to just go through all of their colors and just pick which colors to go to put together in these sets i don't know i would have fun doing it okay so the next color is sky blue Another great thing about open stock guys um, is if you if you buy a set and then you you know love a particular color and you just use it all up, you don't have to buy another set. You just you know pick up your favorite color again. Okay, the next color is ice green. I almost said ice cream, but it says ice green. This is a beautiful mint color. These are like, these are grown up pastels. These aren't little, little kid pastel colors. These are really beautiful grown up pastels. Okay, the next color is cobalt green. Fabulous. Okay. And then our last green is called Lettuce Green. Oh, I like that name. And it does look like lettuce. Okay, so let's look at this color palette okay so this is the color palette for the pastel set this is now this is the set of 12 remember they just they have lots of other sets they have oh gosh they have sets of 50 of the pastel they have sets of 50 of the designer and sets of 50 of the basic and then they have a set of one 100 and then they have a set of uh, 150 I believe I believe that's correct. Now I will leave links below so you guys can go check out all that information um, for yourself. Okay, but this is the color palette for the set of 12 pastels. Oh, so beautiful. I love this. Okay, now this is the color palette for the design tones. Gorgeous, these are bright, vibrant colors. This color right here, I believe it's this color, is called um, turquoise blue. That's fantastic. I love that. And then this is the color palette 
for your basic set. These are gorgeous. Okay, now what I'm going to do is put them, try to fit everything on camera for you guys. Now let me stand up to make sure I'm doing this right. Yeah, I think that's right. Let me just overlap it just a bit so you guys can see everything. Okay, so this is your base, basic set. This is your design set. And this is your pastel set. These are the sets of 12. Oh my gosh, guys, this is, this is so beautiful to color with. They feel so good. You can really, really tell the difference when you pick up a, uh, a colored pencil that's professional um, as opposed to like a $20 set of colored pencils. Now, you know, if you want, if you like your $20 set of uh, colored pencils, guys, I'm not saying don't use them. Use your art supplies, use what you love, but it is a pleasure to color with really, really high quality, beautiful colored pencils. I love these. I'm gonna give these a big thumbs up. And if you guys pick up the three sets of 12, you have a complete color palette. You can do so much with this. You have browns, oh, and you have two blacks and two whites if you get these two sets. These, this is a beautiful color palette of just your basic pastels and they're gorgeous grown-up pastels. I love this, guys. And I love how you get a good assortment of all the colors. Beautiful. This is going to be fun to use. And guys, remember, you can use these with your other colored pencils, too. You can mix these with your, um, your luminance or your light fast. Don't be afraid to do that. That works too. So if you see colors in the Holbein set, go buy the open stock. Just pick what you like. You don't have to get the big set. You know, the open stock, that's why I love open stock too, guys. That's pretty fabulous. But if you see colors you like, you can just do it that way too. And test them out and experience them for yourself. But I'm giving them a big thumbs up. And as always, I will leave links below so you guys can go and check everything out for yourself. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed the information that I gave you and that it helped you. And I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, wait, guys, don't go anywhere. Come back. I forgot to show you. Okay, so this is Melts. It's also by Holbein, and we need to test this out. Okay, so I have a small palette here, and I'm going to put a couple drops in the palette. You don't need much. That's all I'm going to put in there. And let's get what color are we going to use? Okay, I love green. Let's do green. Okay, so I'm going to put some color down. All right, that's enough color. Now, I'm going to use a Princeton Aqua Elite number no. 6 round. And I'm just going to pick up a little of the melts on my brush. And, wow, look at that. Completely completely melts your pencil. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. And guys, I am the canary in the coal mine and I smell nothing. I smell nothing. That is fantastic. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do one more. Let's do one more. I'm going to do, let's see, this is violet. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to layer my color down. Now, let's see, I'm going to, I'm using a little towel to um, wipe off my brush. I'm going to pick up some more of the melts. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Pick up more melts. Completely, completely dissolves it. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, 
I'm going to put, let's see what happens if I put a little bit more on there. You don't need much, but I'm going to, I'm going to add more and see. Let's just see. Let's just see how far out I can go with it. <gasps> Look at that. Look at it. Oh, <gasps> that's fantastic. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. That is so good. Okay, I'm going to put some more and do it on the green, too. Okay. Okay, I'm going to add the melts to my brush, and let's, let's go a little bit farther. And that kind of dried already. Let's see if I can re, um, reactivate it. I can. Oh my gosh. Look, look. Oh, look at that. It's amazing. Oh, I love it. Okay, guys, this stuff is so good, and it completely, absolutely, completely dissolved the pencil color. There is no marks left behind at all on my paper from where I, I colored on it. Oh, wow. Okay, guys, this actually works better for me than the Mineral Spirits. This is fantastic. I give this a huge thumbs up. And guys, I'm going to leave this uh, a link to this below also so you guys can go check this out too. I highly recommend this. And like I said, I'll say it again, I smell nothing. I smell nothing. That's fantastic. All right, guys, this is my second goodbye. See you guys later. <laughs> Bye.